Welcome to the Tone Jerks Podcast. I'm your host, Brian Gower, and with me today we got... Kyle McIntyre, like always. All right, Kyle. And forever. How's it going, Kyle? What's new in your world? What's shaking? What's grooving? Is good? Yeah, I'm glad you asked, actually. You haven't asked me in a while. This <laughs> last week. Yeah. Oh, I, so okay, good. well, shocker, I got a new pedal. Mm-hmm. I got a Jackson Audio, uh, sil- and you know, it's Jackson Audio slash Silvertone collaboration. Mm-hmm. So it's the Twin Twelve, the 1484 um, collaboration they did. I just thought it was really cool sound when I was doing my research on it. It is difficult to get a fucking because it's so shiny with my light. Okay, yeah, that's about as good as you're getting. Mm-hmm. So, uh. <clears throat> Very basic pedal, um, kind of an amp in a I box, get, right? Or it's is it more yeah, and that's kind of, kind of what I'm attracted to is amp in a box because it's a lot easier to have this on your shelf than one of those on yeah. your shelf. Yeah, you know. So, which I know it's not the same thing, right? I get it. Not, but the same it's, it sounds thing. pretty fucking. <laughs> Don't fucking talk shit. Um. <laughs> It uh, it sounds really good. Mm-hmm. I actually really like the way it sounds. Um, I was running it through um, native into like a clean Fender amp, yeah, yeah. whatever, mm-hmm. and getting the sound that I liked from it. Um, I did like a first tried with a tweed that's in there, and then I tried the they call it the uh, what was it tw- the twin. I forget what they, how they, was it uh mail order twin is what they call it, call it, but it's a fender. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Anyways. Um, yeah, this sounds great through it. And I guess, uh, we played it at the beginning of this song or uh, song. Yeah. The, the beginning episode. of this recording. So you heard it. You probably thought it sounded <laughs> like shit. Um, <laughs> no, I kind of, I mean, it definitely has like a flavor to it. Were you saying kind of more like, Lo-fi, garagey kind of deal. Yeah. Even so, like immediately like, when I started playing it through the, the my tweed here, just like when I first got it, I plugged it up, and dang, I was like, "This is cool." It makes me feel like I join like the join like an indie lo-fi band, and just yeah, like, this is the only yeah. pedal I need. Maybe a delay. Yeah. You know, <laughs> just like a um, the S- a space or reverb or yeah. something, mm-hmm. uh, and and this thing. Yeah. You're saying that's like, oh, it reminds me of like Mrs. Magician. Or Banff, yeah, Mrs. Magician. Or, so I was playing those kind of riffs, just like, dun, 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 just like eighth note, uh, power chord, mm-hmm. you know, I'm like this is pretty sick. And yeah. so when I did the bass, I did it like, I picked like the shittiest tone pretty much you could find in the, um, when I was scrolling through the available presets, mm-hmm. I was like, nailed it doing, <laughs> using this bass on this. So that, um, I really like it. Was fun. I just picked like a a simple like two riff kind of combo, and then just copy and pasted it in the, that song you heard. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, no, that's pretty cool. Uh, definitely, yeah, a pretty unique sound. And it, you know, I don't think I've ever played a silver tone amp before. Well, yeah, because probably because they fell apart. Yeah, <laughs> before you got your hands on it, I but, hear people talk about it all the time. Like, oh yeah, these are you know. That's the sound you want. I'm like, I first of all I didn't know what the hell amp it was, mm-hmm. but um, when people were talking about it, and then I saw the Jackson shit because I kind of am diving into the stuff they're making now, mm-hmm. um, or at least my eyes are on them. I'm like the eye of Sauron, who's like when Frodo puts the ring on. I'm like, <laughs> but like <laughs> the eye turns. Yeah, yeah. You don't get it because you don't watch that shit. You're not up on it. Like you don't know, dude. There's that meme where it's like. When uh, Bilbo puts the ring on, he's like, doo, 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 doo. he's all dancing and fun. And when Frodo puts the ring on, it's like, ah, like he gets, everyone can see him. Uh, like all the evil can see oh. him where he's at. Like, like he just puts GPS on yeah. and turns his car alarm on kind of situation. Everyone can find him. <laughs> anyways, it's like a different, yeah, you got to watch the movie for that. But yeah, anyways. You had to be there for My it. Lord of the Ring nerds, Lords of the, Lords of the Rings will know that. Lords of Dogtown, you know what's up. A <laughs> town down, baby. Um, yeah. Wait, is that- um, no, because I mean, there's yeah, tons of bands that have used those amps, and like I think even like it's like a Jack White type of sound too. Yeah, Jack White. Um, I think 
you and I were talking about it too, but it's like, you know, anyone who's trying to get like a vintage kind of sound, so black keys, yeah, you know, they have definitely used that shit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you were mentioning uh, when we were doing a little sidebar, you know, action, um, that's really poorly made, like a because it's a Sears. Yeah, like, it was like a I think, amp. Yeah, cheap amp back in the day, if I remember correctly. And they were like cheaply made. Like, I don't think it was like the head casings were actually wood, if I remember. Or maybe seeing a, a rig rundown or something like that of that about it. It's like it just like heavy card stock. Something like that. How I, much paper can we put in this thing? Yeah, because they weren't meant <clears throat> to be like, you know, professional used amps, I believe. You know. It was like a starter amp, but they just made it really like they. It sounded really good, I guess, but just made poorly. Mm -hmm. well, it's like, so I guess you could rehouse yeah. it, mm -hmm. you know. And then even like was it, uh, like Les Paul Juniors Gibsons like back in the fifties when they came those like oh it's a student guitar I'm like, and then you know, get a Gibson like Les Paul now like a fifty six reissue or something like that and you're like this is twenty five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just for. A one pickup. A starter, yeah. Yeah. But, you know. Well, well more on that later, yeah. I guess. We'll talk uh, about that uh, oh, I guess, a little uh, bit later. Shit, not to, you know, slide in here. Well, I, maybe we'll do it after you hear what's new. Because like, do you remember last episode we did the bass shootout we played? Oh, yeah. For people? Yeah, talk about it. So. so. Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess, should we I don't, play him again? Or I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, we could play it again and then reveal... The, uh, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I don't know how you want to do it. So, um, yeah, me maybe cut in the song songs one more time. So here's the first okay. one. Boy, that sounded good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll figure out how to do the video, but maybe I'll just have like a st static image. <laughs> I'm flipping the bird, man. Here, I can make you AI, uh, just generic bassist. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, we'll put put something like that in there. Anyways. <laughs> That's a song. Yeah. And then. Sucking my dick, sucking my dick. <laughs> Suck. <laughs> so I thought you were doing uh, sucking my dick. Yeah. All right, and then we'll cut. Here's the second one. Oh, cool! Dang, that was better. The eighth time I've heard that is the third one. Bingo. Fourth one. Bingo. And fifth one. Bongo. Okay. So I'll see. Yeah, like I said, I'll see how the video edit was going to go because I'm not going to. We're not going to play it again. Uh, for us. So okay, I thought it was pretty cool. Like like I mentioned last time, it's like oh, it's a fun little. Uh, ear, like uh, not training or whatever, but just see how good my ears are. So I sent it to you. My first, uh, here's my first guess. So, uh, it was the first one was the Dyna bass, and then second one T40, third one Grabber, fourth one American P bass, and fifth was the Squire. And I only got two of those right. Yeah, it was a big old fucking goose egg. No, no, you did get some right. I'm just kidding. So I guess uh, well, the third one is the one I got right. So the third one was the grabber. 
And then the fifth one was the Squire. Yeah. And then I gave it. So a how'd name. you know? How'd you differentiate those? So uh, the Squire one was the muddiest Squire P base. Yeah. Um, and then the thinnest was the Grabber. And then I could think of like, okay, uh, the Grabber is the only one with single coils, right? Even if you're doing all three of them, okay, it's like what they, you know, yeah. say it's like the buck and a half kind of deal. Yeah. So a humbucker would be two single coils, but they do the three, and then it's like, okay. And then, so that's kind of where I was going for with that. And then I gave it another go, and then I texted you that the first one was the American P-Base. Second yep. one was the Dyna base, the PV one, and the fourth was the T40. And then yep. you, you said I got I got it right, so I got it right the second time. Yeah, so I was thinking you, you got a spare. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> both uh, like the first time, like shoot from the hip, like I just one listen. I didn't give it another critical go because I want to see like, how my ears would fare. Two out of th- that's not bad. Two out of that's five. Not bad. And then the second time, I only listened to it one more time after that when I gave you my next go, and I got it right. So yeah. I, and that's with my shitty recording and playing, and you still picked it out. That's pretty good. So I think the once I heard it I, again, I could tell that the first one definitely had that P bass kind of punch, and then I could hear the Dyna bass kind of remind me a lot of a jazz bass. Mm-hmm. So when you hear the second one, and you hear and like it's not a jazz bass, but it's uh, I would say it's the most comparable to the because of like the two, and maybe. Those are the ferrite or whatever pickups, right? The, so yeah, super ferrite. They're not humbuckers, are they? Or they are? No, I don't. I think they're still singles, but they're like wrapped. They're like, yeah, they're they they. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how they're made. Wrapped. Or why they're different? Bacon or whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I hear, juicy. I hear the fourth one. I'm like, okay, those are definitely humbuckers. So it's not you know. Not like a, you know, Stingray, but it kind of has a flair to that, you know? You yeah. can hear humbuckers, and there's that distinctive, like, punch of a humbucker, that, and then clarity as well. But I'm like, you hear that, I'm like, okay, that's definitely uh, a humbucker sound. So once I gave it that second go, I thought it was, like, really cool, because they all sounded great. Even the Squire, when I said it's the muddiest, it's not the a terrible, Man, the, unusable sound. I think I mentioned it on the last one, but the Squire, I was fucking struggling. The thing is not set up, so I was like, I was like, f- like, felt like I was playing a suspension bridge, you mm-hmm. know. I'm just fucking playing, trying to, trying to get those, uh, you know, notes down. Yeah, but because I listened again, I'm like, man, I could have recorded that again. I could have <laughs> recorded that better because I heard, you know, there's some spots where I'm a little out of time, trying to trying to struggle. Yeah, I think it was like one or two notes. I was like, ah, whatever. But, uh, dear listener, did you get any of those right? We'll find out. You you fucked up. <laughs> but no, that was a cool little. Uh, no one cares. Actually, we yeah. just we're making a big deal out of this. No one's like people are like, what the fuck? Maybe you can do that with like What's different with amps or something like that, or you know, yeah, whatever. Like maybe like uh, a digital. I don't know. Yeah, you have amps. Well, mm-hmm. you don't have. Uh, I guess. Well, I could do. Hmm. Yeah, no, I can do it. I and then. You could do digital versus the real thing. Like which one? I, I can do a rocker verb in the fractal, rocker verb real, uh, IRL, and then so the, the, plug, the the pl- the plugin from uh, ML yeah. Sound Labs. What the hell? Yeah, that'd be kind of cool to see. Like, oh, can you t- Oracle? That's what it is. So it's a, they're yeah. all rocker verbs. So I'm like, can you hear? I'll run them through. Yeah, maybe. You know, I'm off for another. Five six days. I should. I do something. I, I can do this. I can do this. Maybe I'll for next episode. I'll get this going. So I'll do three, and you can decide, or you can try and decipher which one's the real deal. And so damn, I'm not going to be good at that. They're all going to go to the same uh, IRs, so that way, yeah, I'll fair shot. So you can try and figure out which one is the uh, the plugin. Which one plugin and fractal might be the one that's going to be tough because they're super similar. But yeah, yeah, you can find out which one. You see if you can decipher. Which one? That's yeah, okay. That'll I'm, be my. I'm not well, set up to do that here with like a. a <laughs> Thanks. What Siri? Thanks. Yeah, Siri. There's some d- demonic possession of your phone. Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't hear that. I have yeah, Siri you turned off. To. Where the hell the hell did that turn on? 
Probably because I s- said something that sounded. No, you can't. You can't hear me. You said something. Yeah. Um. Anyways, I'm not set up here to do that because I don't have like a load box. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could probably do the SVT if I had one. SVT versus, you know, the um, whatever n- native is it? What's in native? There, there's also an SVT four, so I could see what the three. Sounds like too. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm just going um, to my settings. How did that turn? That's off? fine. I turned that fuck. I don't know. I, I'm trying to. I'm trying this, to keep it. So I have to edit this out, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna leave, I want to keep it in. I'll leave that in. But I'm like, I and I go to my settings. It's turned on. I don't want to say it again. Yeah. But I'm like, I, I didn't fucking go in there. Yeah. <sighs> dude, there's a people change their names to Xbox One turn off because mm-hmm. you can tell it too. So yeah. it's like, so oh stop killing me Xbox One turn off and it <laughs> turns off their uh, their Xbox game. or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, they're like in the middle of a it's like fight. Siri, and it's just... like Siri knew. It's like, you don't know what Decipher means. You're using it incorrectly. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stupid. You um, don't know I the could... difference between a fucking P-Base and a T-40, you dumbass. Dumbass. I could do a shootout, I guess, with some of my guitars, too. Mm. If I do like the Invader versus the Singles versus the, you know. Yeah. Uh, I can do the singles versus the singles versus the singles. Now, I only have two guitars, three guitars that have singles, I guess. A lot of humbuckers up there. Strat, Telly, and then... Yeah, mm-hmm. uh, the Telly, the Strat, actually... Oh, and the, the P90. Uh, yeah. And then I plan on building this PV here soon. That could be kind of cool finished. to be like, okay, can you tell the difference between a P90, a Strat, single coil, and a Telly single coil? Yeah, you know I'm they're going to sure sound different, but yeah. can you differentiate which one is which? I'm pretty sure I can. Yeah. Because I have- Trying to challenge the kid, I huh? Could, I could try the- Also, we could just have a double double uh, humbucker setup, too, or shootout. Mm-hmm. I have a lot of- I have, Was it the Squire, Telly, the uh, PVT-60, the uh, Surf Green, mm-hmm. uh, the- Shit, there's another squire on the wall too, which probably sound exactly like the other squire, but it's a strat. Yeah. And then the walnut one that's right here. Yeah. Because, was it, uh, I don't know. I mean, some, some of them, like when it's they do like boring sh- as hell. shootouts and stuff like that, like the one that comes to mind is always, uh, I like his channel, uh, Ryan Fluff Bruce, uh, the Riff Spears and Gear Guy. Every fucking guitar and amp and pedal demo that he has they all sound the same he's done shootouts before but he's like here's my guitars I'm like they all sound the same bro <laughs> oh good are you listening on yeah. your phone uh, you know I do headphones or my you know HS5s I know they're not the best but I'm like bro it, they all sound the same I'm like I, I bought an R9 fucking $6,000 Les Paul I'm like cool that sounds exactly the same as your fucking Schecter because <laughs> of how he re- damn. I think he records it, EQs it, and shit like that. I'm like, okay, I'm like, don't you want? Well, he, he probably EQs it the same way. Yeah. He goes, oh wow, oh, I don't like the way it sounded. Let it me changes just, it all. Perfect, <laughs> perfect. Let me just make it like sound all like- my others. <laughs> exactly. But anyways, so I mean, he's a cool guy. Well, he listens. Yeah. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Unsubscribe. Yeah, these guys are ripping me a new asshole, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> these guys are fucking me in my ass, as they say. Yeah, no, I, you know, <laughs> these guys props are, to the guy. He's working hard. He's you know, j- jamming me up. <laughs> Fuck that guy. No, um, uh. anyways, so that was a fun little thing. Yeah. And it didn't take very long to do. No. Liter- and it's funny is I noticed after we recorded last that the same order that these bases are in is the same order that I recorded. Them, so, <laughs> so dead giveaway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not that you can really tell. I mean, but. Yeah. There's the American. There's the Dyna. Yeah. There's the Grabber. <laughs> so there's the T40, it. and there's the Squire. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Because that's I, I grabbed them and played them in that order. Yeah, and put it right back. Yeah. I yeah. like it. It was good. But all right. So you got your pedal. We did the uh, base shootout uh, reveal. And then, yeah. Uh, do you have any other what's news? Did you get some. I got some new stuff too. So I'm gonna go through my mini pedal board and put on some mini cables that I got. 
So I got yeah. some Ernie Ball. Yeah. So not EBS, but Ernie Ball. Um, little flat, flat guys here. So the three inch home. ones. So you're not having a, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a foot of These batch cable. Huge. Yeah. So uh, I had 12 inch on the other ones and I just kind of zip tied them all together. So like a fucking dread on the underside. Yeah. Just like one. It, it's managed, but it, <laughs> you know. The pedals, the patch cables, she tells you not to worry about. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a fucking big ass tootsie roll down there. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so I got, I got a you know nine of them. I've got three pack. Mm. Sucks. They, I went so I was at Guitar Center, and uh, that's what sucks actually. No. Um. But it got him. Got him. Um. They had like a pack, but they had only like two of these in it, and then they just got bigger after that. I'm like, cool, and you wanted the same price for what I bought all just all these for, mm-hmm. which is expensive. It was like, no, they're not 22 bucks for three. Mm-hmm. They're not cheap, but they are good and they have a clean board because if your pedal, if your pedals are right next to each other, even six inches, like you don't need. Hey, there you go, <laughs> making our voice inch, feel better. The three inch ones are perfect. They yeah. <laughs> hit all the right spots. From what, you don't from need what to show I hear, off. they are more than enough. This <laughs> is actually huge. Too much. <laughs> all right? Yeah, some say this is too much. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is too much, you yeah. know? Yeah. That's all I can fit in anyway, so it's all right. Yeah, so it's like, because uh, I'm on my baseboard, I use those Ernie Ball three-inch flat cables. Good. Keeps it clean. Like less excess. I got a cable. full mine and a half anyways to get it to fit. So. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have those on my mini board too. So, <laughs> so I'm going to put these on my mini board mm-hmm. and then take my 12s off and actually use them, you know, in other places. And then probably get more shorter EBSs with the gold. Cause I like the way those look. Yeah. The six inch ones probably could be like just a, a better. Cause the 12 inch ones are I, like, yeah, I've 12 had long... inches. That's that's unrealistic for a man, you know. Yeah. I'm just saying that some of these movies that happen to come across my phone here, <laughs> it's just unrealistic for a man. Yeah, you know, it's just you know we idolize some of these people, and they're just you know it's just yeah you're just talking body, about body you know you talking about shaming. long patch cables on pedal boards right when you watch yeah uh, that's, what, you're talking about. that's what I was saying um, watching like. <laughs> Gear reviews and you know those types, you know, pe- rig rundown. Exactly. Yeah. Seen seen those boards? Those things are huge, man. Well, <laughs> really well, giving it to the crowd there. <laughs> They're just what showing are you off. Fucking huh? talking about. I don't even know where I'm going with this anymore. <laughs> so shut up. Uh, because what is it? Um, uh, when I had my uh, bigger board when we were gigging, that PT3 board. Uh, sometimes I had to have really long patch cables, but I. Ideally, like you wanted them as short as possible, just so it's like less like cables. Just well, flop it's also around. nice to have other options, like what you know, other sizes than yeah. Like if I had to throw on like my MXR ones, those are like six inches, and these are three, and then I have you know, it'd be nice to have some other sizes. It'd be nice to have all the same patch cable. Also, it mm-hmm. looks clean. But yeah, it's just in my house. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> For the mini board, I I. You know, I want to get rid of all the shit underneath it. But yeah. other than that, I mean, yeah, I don't I know if my, I showed that what that looked like underneath, but uh, if not, I it think was I got, fun. I got a photo. I think I did. Yeah. Because oh, I showed yeah, yeah, the yeah, MXR. Totally did. Totally did. Yeah. I showed um, the MXR uh, power supply. Yeah. Because for my Pedal Train Junior board, which is like kind of like my ideal pedal board, like when you're using actual pedals instead of like you know, a fractal or something like that. Yeah, that one. I'm like, well, I want to get this done and uh, all set up to with you know all the patch cables. I want to you know like having to like run excess like a three foot cable underneath and zip tie it together. I'm like, no, it's all clean, <laughs> yeah. clean ass board. And then I'm like, cool, I'll put this back in the closet. <laughs> yeah, so not- I got that looking just right. Time <laughs> to put you away. Yeah, I should uh, bust it out and just kind of have it. Set up just so I can start playing more. We should build pedals live on the podcast. Build pedal boards. 
Just <laughs> it's a good way to <laughs> stretch an hour <laughs> when you have no content. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know what we're doing. Uh-huh. I got the perfect plan. I got no time. We're going to spend so much time. We're going to top down yeah. view of my desk. Uh, yeah. But, no, P- that's cool. POV. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah, no, there's a great, great patch of cables. Like, yeah, I saw them at fucking Guitar Center, and I hear, heard your voice in the back of my head. You know, just get them, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I'm like, all right. All right. Well, chill out, dude. All right? No need to yell. I was Actually, why I walked in here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I don't <laughs> I, I did walk in there just like those. Mm-hmm. I asked like, oh, oh you got these? Sure. Cool. Oh my no god. No one has these. Oh my god, you have pedals and cables? Whoa, crazy. Well they did have that like the pedal station, mm-hmm. but they have guitars there that don't have any fucking guitar straps. I'm like, this is cool. Yeah. That's the- like, oh yeah, we got tons of drum sets. Do you have no. sticks? No, we don't have sticks. Sorry. No, we no, no no we don't have a Oh stick. yeah. We don't have a uh, seat. We don't have any drum thrones. <laughs> we don't have any drum thrones. Sorry. That's Sorry. basically what it felt like. I was Fresh like, out. cool, no strap. So. We ha- in, no straps and no cables. Sorry. Yeah. It's like, uh, you could have put the, set these up with like a headphone amp, but they have them plugged into amps. They probably got tired of hearing people play, you know? Yeah. <laughs> band, band, Except band, when I went band, in there, band, this band. dude was like, he was staff because he greeted me at the front door and yeah. then I was looking around at some of the amps they had. And uh, um, he starts playing drums to like, like he's working, but he's playing. He's like, this thing's pretty cool. He's I can hear him talking to like his coworker. This is pretty sweet. You could play some odd times on this because he's running like a metronome. Like, do, 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 do. I'm like, that is so annoying, dude. Yeah, you. You think fucking? You must be new here. Yeah. <laughs> if you think guitars <laughs> are like somebody just riffing on guitar at a time or whatever at a key, oh. untuned guitar. Like drums, man. That's just one drum, one drummer, one drum set. Okay, annoying. Nam level drum drumming is like you're oh, actually man, looking. Go, like, going. Do they suck guns here. <laughs> I just want to kill myself. <laughs> Where's Kyle? Oh, he's over in the drum section. With is there a, gun a guillotine somewhere in this room? <laughs> last, was it last oh, the time guy. Who, yeah. We went to Nam. You just like walked through the security. <laughs> just nobody checked your bag. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't the first time. It was the last time we went. Yeah, no. Was it the last time or the one before it? The one before it. Oh, no. You were there. So maybe it was the time. Well, no, because I've gone the last two times. I remember you just waltzed right past them, and then they were like. They're one freaking of, out. One of them was like, oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that guy's going to start some trouble. Oh, shit. Looks like he's. No, I was just. I was. Yeah. No, I was saying <laughs> Gun for my brain. He's just storming. put me out my misery. He's, Not for anyone else's. He's storming the Capitol. <laughs> you better just let him go. You he's know, looking for Nancy's tried. desk. <laughs> yeah. The shit on Nancy's desk. Um, Where's Nancy? <laughs> Where's Nancy? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> no, uh, I I was saying, um, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah that no. guy, the guy who's. They have the, the Zildjian display where he's like hammering it. Uh-huh. I just put my head on the fucking block. <laughs> just so just, put my head, just, just have him fucking. I'm like, dude, just put it right here. I was like, just right yeah. here, the soft spot on my head. <laughs> Actually, on top. Yeah. The soft spot that never fucking healed. Just do it. Do it. Just do it. Yeah. Rachel. Because uh, oh, there's <laughs> that, like, yeah, it's like you're not hearing the difference between these symbols by just a bunch of bozos. <laughs> Yeah, it's like Splash City in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a splash zone. Uh, <laughs> isn't that movie, is it Splash the Mermaid? Yeah, Tom Hanks. She makes like a noise and just destroys all the TVs in the in the uh, TV store. Yeah, I barely remember that movie. I, just remember seeing I know there the was movie. a Splash uh, Ford Ranger. That's pretty sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was like, it's like the, yellow. Yeah. Step sick. side, mm, yeah. sick graphic, yeah. That's dude. That's fucking salt life. Right that's there. that's like, yeah, running like nineties, like uh, matching fucking uh, uh, jet skis with that. <sighs> God damn, drop them in. Yeah, splash around. Let them fucking know. <laughs> you can't yeah, let them tell... know there's a fucking monster in this lake. <laughs> you can't tell me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, anyways, but... that's my what's new. What you got? 
Uh, so we uh, started recording guitars uh, for the new Just In Case EP this past, finally. this past weekend. So, uh, and things are sounding all right. Uh, pretty nice. good. Nice. So Adam used uh, his Strat, um, and then into his Mesa F50 combo. He's got a 1x12. Uh, but we didn't mic it up. We used my two notes torpedo captor X. So, Ooh, and it's maybe. sounding actually pretty fucking good. <laughs> it's kind of the first time me actually using that torpedo captor X. Cause hmm. I, I had it. Um, I think listeners of the show. Remember I got the, uh, torpedo captor, which is just a load box. And, um, <laughs> you I'll send give you a load box. You send that signal. Uh, without a cab, to uh, uh, I had a two notes um, uh, IR or whatever. Yeah, it's a cab M. So it's a little as a pedal. So I could send that to. Uh, it's kind. It, it what, can what's be. What's the M stand for? Mm, there mm, it is. Mm, bop. Uh. Mm. So, uh. <laughs> 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 All right, keep going. Uh, keep going. So Sorry, it. Going it it, I had it, so it's essentially two pieces because I'm like had sending the amp signal with the load on it to the pedal so I can put you know IRs on it or cabs or whatever, and then I have an XLR out to my interface, and then almost like a month after I bought both those fucking things, uh, two notes came out with like, hey, here's the Captor X that has all. You the know, cabs we're noticing in. a lot of people are buying both of these things. You know so, what? We should wait for them all to buy it. Yeah, and, and then, then we should just put them together. That's what they did, and to me, I'm like, that's what I wanted in the first fucking place. <laughs> yeah, less st- less it. shit. So anyway, so I bought it and I sold the um, load box. Uh, that sold really fast. I still have the cab M, which I'm like, nobody's biting on that. I can't give that thing away. Yeah. So uh, the other day, I forgot. I'm like, oh, I have this still. Hmm. I'm not gonna use it. What do I need it for? Anyway, so. Uh, but I had this, and I set it up to where my uh, captor, the non-X one was. And I'm like, cool, I'll use this when I'm recording uh, guitar amps. Anyways, to the fractal, boys. <laughs> it's, just, it's just always easier to use that thing. Or To the LeBaron. <laughs> and I uh, almost really never used it, which I'm like, it's great. I mean, to me, I'm like, oh, no, I'll, I'll, I'll use it eventually. And then, like, we talked about recording. I'm like, Adam really wants to use his amp and his sound, you know, and his... Which I'm like totally. I get. My sound. Like uh, when we recorded drums, Brian wanted to use his drums, and then for the most part, he did. Um, when uh, Ben Moore, he was like, "Well, let's try a different snare. How about this '80s Black Beauty snare?" And I was like, "Okay, that sounds way better." Sorry, Brian. And then he's <laughs> like, and Brian's like, "No, no, totally. I want to get the best. I guess everybody's idea of drums, drum recording, and everything's different." But his whole thing is like, oh, I want the snare drum to be like the loudest thing, like over the cymbals. It's like you're fighting the cymbals when he's recording. Yeah. He's like, all right, your hi hats are really bright and loud. What about these more subdued ones? Like they're heavier and they're, you know, not as. And then so it's pretty much Brian's kit except for the snare and the hi hat cymbals. But the idea is like, you know, you want to have your sound and your gear. It's like, oh, instead of like, hey, play all like my stuff. Imagine, you know, going to a studio. I'm like, cool, your bass. No, you're still going to play this. Play this bass. He kind of, you know. So I totally get it that even to the point of amps. He's like, well, I really love my amp. And this is like the one I've wanted ever since I was in like, you know, they played Warp Tour, I think, back in like early 2000s. He's like, oh, it was on stage. Da, 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 and I loved the way it sounded. And, you know, that was the back line that they had to play on. And he's like, oh, I fell yeah. in love with that amp back then. And it's like, I just never really had the money or the time, you know, or like, you know, they came around, but he's found one in San Diego. Anyways, so he's nice. over the past year or two, he's loved that amp. So he's wanted to get that sound. But I, I'm like, I can't record a full like 50 watt Mesa in my bedroom. Yeah, and dude. get yeah, you get it uh, cooking really the really low tones. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like, get that thing opened up. I'm like I can't. No, I can't. Can't be doing that in my bedroom. <laughs> Let it rip. So anyway, so we use. I'm like always thought. I'm like, oh, let's use Captor X, and it is super easy to use. And it sounds fucking awesome. Like Adam was reviewing, he's like, not reviewing, but looking up, like, what's the best kind of way to dial this in? He's like, one o'clock is where, it, like, don't go higher, and noon to one o'clock on the uh, master volume. And that's where Get it, it really, cooking. really opens up. And then 
he's like, I've never had it that loud before. And obviously it's silent recording because it's going to the load box. He's like, yeah, Man. he's like, wow, that sounds awesome. And it did. Um, and so I'm like, man, what a great thing. I think you should get one, but uh, they're not cheap. They're like 500 bucks. But you think I should get? Oh, the, the load box. Mm-hmm. So anyways, uh, it's, there's, I love like me some fractal and helix, you know, but there's something about real amps, you know, tube amps, you know, that yeah. it just sounded so fucking like, cause we did a scratch track of, you know, the, before going into drums. And so I had that reference there and just the fractal on there. I'm like, okay, I'm sure we could have dialed it in a little bit better or whatever, but I'm like, that sounds not even close to like the Mesa. <laughs> And then, you know, it could say, I'm like, oh, it's real tubes and, you know, preamp tubes and all this shit that is going through in circuitry and da 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 whatever. It's like, it's more real. Yeah. But even though, obviously, it'd be nice to, you know, ha- have it cooking. And it, re- it'd be nice. It'd be nice. It'd be nice uh, to have it mic'd up, you know, with, re- you know, nice mics going, you know, let's say if we recorded it with Ben at, you know, uh, Guitars with Singing Serpent or whatever. I'm like, one, that probably cost another thousand dollars and <laughs> just for the day. But it would be running through a board, an EQ, and maybe some outboard pre's and stuff like that. Um, and so it would sound even better, and then get a real room sound and shit like that. But I'm like, hey, we're you know taking steps to make the EP sound bigger than the last you one. You can did. add some room later, add yeah. a little bit of. But you know, even just the difference of using the amp, Mesa amp and you know of uh, IRs through the captor. I'm like, this sounds warm. Sounds good. It's great. Um, pretty much just starting off with doing, doing just the r- rhythm tracks, and then I'll do my bass, and then he'll maybe come back and just do any leads, and then we'll get to vocals. But it's sounding great. We're stepping shit up for this EP, and so you know, it's not finally, like it's, like, god is, damn, you know, it's like the last one that we did. It's just like kidding. we recorded drums in Brian's garage, and then I did a fractal with everything. Now it makes me, uh, yeah, it's got me kind of wanting to buy more amps now because of how great that sounds in comparison to the fractal even though it's still being digitally gone you know through a ir and shit like that mm-hmm. so it's kind of taking digital and real and just blending them together uh it's great i love it uh it makes me like i'm gonna record using the fractal for bass but i'm like what if i had a two bass amp that'd be pretty cool i had a two bass amp and then i sold it because these load boxes can, I think maximum is 150 watts they can take, but oh, most really? of them are 100 watts. So, like, say you're, you couldn't use your Ampeg Classic that way. 300 watts, uh-huh. it, would, it wouldn't be able to handle the load. <laughs> wouldn't handle your load from the Ampeg. Uh, yeah. What? Uh, but the SVT3 would work. Mm, it wouldn't be worth it anyways because it's not tubes. But yeah. it, like oh, okay. to me, I'm like I'm looking at tube amp. You know. Because tubes are warm. A tube amp. Well, because so one dude. that I had. You play with tube amp, bro. Was the Ampeg V4BH. Uh, B. Yeah. Because it was a 100 watt 6L6 uh, kind of like Ampeg classic style amp. And it was 100 watts and uh, should have kept it. The reason why I sold it was because it wasn't loud enough for gigs really. And I'm like, I can't, I don't want to just hold on. And stupid me. It's like, I don't want to just hold on to gear just like for a what if, and now I'm like, what if I had, <laughs> and now you're, now I yep. was jammed up, <laughs> you know, uh, I'm like making more money than I did back in like 2019 or 2018 now. Yeah. Uh, but then I'm like, I definitely put that money to work <laughs> and used it. So anyways, at the time I had to get rid of it. I couldn't just hold on to tons of gear. And nowadays I'm a, you know, a little bit better. Not that I'm like killing it or anything. I still can't afford a house. <laughs> Couldn't afford a truck either. <laughs> I was like looking, uh, a neighbor got like one of those uh, Rangers, but the Raptor ones. I'm like, that's so sick. Look at it. Oh my God. $60,000. Nope. <laughs> Move on. But there's, uh, there's a 73 V4B here mm-hmm. for uh, 900 bucks. Well, I mean, I sent it to you. I saw the amp that I had. Um, is at guitarcenter.com. Yeah, for used for not a bad price. So I'm like maybe. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, same price as this one. Mm-hmm. So it sounded great, but like it was just too quiet for live gigs. 
So now I'm thinking about, well, obviously just use the Ampeg, or not Ampeg, but the orange combo that I have for gigs. And then yeah. this could just be for recording. And like, you know, I know bass, like some people don't think it's that important. Most people just use a DI, not even like an amp. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm like, yeah. to me, I'm like, yeah. That's fine, I guess. Fine. I'm, you know, if if you can't or if, you know, you're, you know, you don't want to devote that much time to bass. You're just kind of like, oh, I wanted to play and this is the band that had a position open. Mm-hmm. So I'm waiting for the guitarist to die. Yeah. And so then can, I'll move into that spot. So I can swoop in. But in the meantime, I'm not going to buy shit. Yeah. You can't make me buy <laughs> jack shit. Not even strings. Yeah. 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 These, are the, these are the original ones, man. <laughs> it's a factory, factory. made strings. So <laughs> Stupid joke. But yeah. I'm every time. Definitely looking at more. I was thinking about like downsizing even. I don't even that the heads that I have. I only have two. But I'm like, I don't need amps, man. I got fractals. And then once I did that, I heard him play. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. And I was even looking. I'm like, oh, I can get an F50 head. So I have one that sound. I'm like, or I could just borrow Adam's amp if I wanted wanted that for something. And then. So do you just, do you, how do you hook that up? You just go. Capture. Take the speaker out from the uh, combo speaker. Just unplug yeah. that. And then unplug you go it. speaker out. To the back of the torpedo, so the input. Okay, yeah. And then you can also use it as like a attenuator, to like even like fifty fifty percent or even five percent of that amp's sound. So if you want to have yeah. your amp, you know, cook at that one o'clock volume, but you wanted it less, then you can just totally do it. You know, for gigs. You know, instead of that, you're too darn loud. You just yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to get in that. That's sweet. interesting. No, I. I I was thinking, how the fuck do you undo that? Yeah, I guess but you, just, you, you just don't plug the speaker in. So I have that going in, so it's not going to damage the amp at all. And then um, I use XLR out to my interface, and then that's it. And then I have it a uh, USB uh, B or micro or whatever, just to my computer, and I can uh, change the IRs. And so found two that he liked, and then so we just went with that. And then nice, which has ended up being like a sewer. 212 and then like a just a smaller Mesa 412 from ML Sound Labs and they're like yeah we got the sounds that we wanted here you go nice and then use the same guitar I think he was didn't even bring his SG he's like no nah, I want to use the Strat I like the Strat I like the sound boom done and then experimented experimented a little bit with some drive pedals but it just went tried and true he's like oh I kind of want more of a mid uh, hump on this tube screamer it is boys. And it worked. Sounds <laughs> sounds good. Uh, can't go wrong with the mini tube screamer and a, and a Mesa. Come on, come on. Nice. But yeah, that just got me into thinking about like, oh, I back on my bullshit. Like I'm like I'm downsizing. I don't need more gear. I'm like, man, you know, it'd be cool more heads. And yeah. then that way I can just have all those. And there's like a a thing I've been wanting to get. It's like building up my amp rack. Is uh, there's like a kind of a amp selector thing, so I can select which amp I'm using and just have it go to the load box. Oh wow, that thing also holds a load too, <laughs> too. <laughs> so I can have all the amps on. I'm like, I want to switch to the Rockford. Cool. I want to switch to the Ampex. I want to switch to, you know, a PV. If I bought a PV, you know, like I was saying, like I was looking, I'm seeing, you know, they have the, you know, PV Classic 50. I can get get that in a head, and then that way instead of buying combos, some plenty of those, and then heads are. Not necessarily cheaper, but they're smaller. And yeah, you have to store the freaking speaker, dude. And what we get it, dude. We're not stupid. Sick one. I'm like, oh, well, they're just thinking about all these different amps. I'm like, yeah, EVH 5150 would be pretty sweet to have. But I was mm-hmm. even looking at, like, oh, somebody took a 6505, the 60-watt uh, combo, and then cut it into a popular just mod. Head. Yeah. Like, man. Yeah. Might just start going back on reverb and just lowballing the shit out of everybody. <laughs> just hit him, yeah. Just hit him where it no hurts. regard. Just disrespectful. But yeah. uh, first off, I want to get a base, a two base head. So either that uh, Ampeg V4B uh, H or uh, Fender Baseman 100T. I think is what it was. Really? So ba- uh, Fender Baseman, not like a vintage one. So like the new uh, Super Baseman or whatever they're called. Uh, they're 300 oh. watt version. 
there's a 500 watt version and 800 watt but for a time they had a 100 watt tube version and of mm. course they discontinued it because you know why it's all something th- good. all good things must come to an end really fast apparently yeah so it's like oh that's really? good probably because you know same thing with the uh ampeg 100 watt head it just wasn't loud enough you're too down quiet <laughs> <laughs> the 100 t is that what it is i believe so mm-hmm. not yeah, cheap both of both of those are going they're not super cheap so keeping an eye out yeah it's about a thousand bucks yeah so i see here mm-hmm. and then even if i was like oh get a tube amp like the uh ad 200 uh orange it's 200 watts it's too much for a little box so yeah i am gonna keep an eye out and then you know it's like oh i'm back on my you know bullshit like i'm back like, on oh, your keep bullshit it, yeah, keep it, your- yeah keep it an eye for amps i'm like hmm That'd be cool. Just get a head. Getting a head. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm getting a head. Because that's, I mean, they, I mean, I'm not going to jump the fractal train or anything, but I'm like, there's just something. Because I was like, just fucking around, which I haven't turned that thing on in over a year. <laughs> My orange AD30. I plugged that up to it. Yeah. Like, Holy shit, this sounds, sounds good. <laughs> sounds awesome. I love playing an amp. Like, and this is, you know, my sound. You can have it cranked halfway and not blow the roof off the joint because it's just going. Yeah, mm-hmm. just that'd be cool. I'd like to, I'd like to hear the recordings you did. Yeah, I can put those on the drive just so you can check it out. Uh, no bass yet, but yeah. And then other than that, I did buy uh, something for my EDC. Didn't need, but you know, oh. little flashlight. Yeah, flashes, Brian. From my keys. Oh boy. Look at that. Oh wow! It's the low guy. Good. Yeah. Keep it on my uh, keychain with all my other crap. And you said you said you can rec- uh, recharge that, right? Yeah, USB C. Nice. That's but, pretty cool. I don't uh, know, just something that I didn't need. It also comes with like a clip that I could put it to my hat or something. Well, why? But well, why did you need that though? I did. What? What made you? What made you go? Oh, I need a flashlight. Instead of a flashlight. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know. Didn't I mean, the flashlight on your phone stop working? Oh, yeah. And then I... <laughs> yeah, it did. It that's just, what you told me. That's what so it was. Yeah, yeah. No, totally. I just connected that right now, so... It, um, I'm, it I'm stopped good. working like, for... No, it stopped I'm working. I'm like Sherlock. Yeah. I'm like Sherlock Holmes over here. It stopped working for a while, and then um, I was like, fuck. Turned off the phone, like a, and then I don't know, restarted it, and then it worked again. I'm like, yeah. all right. Uh, well, this is working now, but I'm sure it'll go out again. But like, what if I need a flashlight? <laughs> yeah. Right. So I'm like, not that I'm going out on, you know, expeditions or journeys or like hikes no. like Johnny does, but I'm like, you know, I'm like, I don't know. It's the same thing too. I'm like, I just keep it on my keychain or my keys or whatever. And then. Yeah. It's not going to hurt. Yeah. And then I was like seeing again, like in different, like, uh, not forums or whatever groups that, and shit that I'm in, like on Facebook. I think on Reddit, there's, you know, is it like a bozo move to have my keys on a, like my, I don't know, uh, belt loop? No, I don't think so. Like carabiner? I'm like, oh, this, if he was like, like, what are you, a fucking janitor? I'm like, what? Is that a bad look? Shut I, but... up. That's a working man's job. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Got... That's a Carhartt job right there. Yeah. See this? Working Push back. man. Yeah. yeah. You just so. stand up for yourself more, Brian. Just go into those groups and just start raising hell. <laughs> no one said it directly to you, but you took it so personally that it seemed like mm-hmm. it was. And then, uh, you fucking piece of shit. I was on Amazon. I got to buy a flashlight. And then there's something like, oh, uh, I got like a screen protector for my phone. Like the, Ugh. and then, but it has like a privacy screen. Oh, yeah. My, my sister has like, one of those. I'm like, what are you trying to hide from me? Oh, well, yeah. Like texting someone. I'm like, what are you doing? And I'm like, that's pretty cool. I saw I saw a coworker have that, and I'm like, see that, and then just to the side, you can't. You're starting to not see it. I'm like, who cares? Well, yeah, I mean, but you still want to open up a tab on accident that you forgot to close. Okay, well, this is like okay. We were kind of talking about like Instagram is going nuts. Oh yeah, it's like okay, so it's like just my feed is just super horny. Yeah, like like it just okay. So, 
I, there's a setting for like turn off sensitive material or whatever the hell it is. You can also turn off like political ads or whatever. So I'm like, oh, let me go through this. I'm like, well, I had it turned on. It blocks a lot of stuff. I'm like, well, I don't want to be censored, but I don't mind the political thing. I'm like, keep that off my feed. And I'm like, yeah, turn yeah. off the sensitive stuff. I'm like, let's just leave it on and instantly. Oh my yeah. God. I'm like, oh my yeah. Atlanta. And then it, it like just the, the, these ladies. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> it's like. They are showing it all, at all. And I'm like, oh my goodness. They're well, selling it, and I'm buying. And I'm like, I should, I don't know if I, <laughs> I'm like, I should probably turn it back on. But, and then I'm like, yeah. well. There's other stuff I want to see that's, but it's like, and then I'll be yeah, able to. Cause this is what happened when you, uh, took over, you know, when it, I, I guess with the tone jerks podcast, mm-hmm. uh, Instagram, it was just flooded with anime. Yeah. I thought you didn't have it on for that. So I'm like, no, I think I turned it just on for tone drawn, jerks. drawn jugs everywhere. Yeah. You know, I'm like, that's, I, that's I'm like, I, that's a lot of what it uh, is too. There's anime and then also IRL, just ladies. I'm like, what? Yeah, the fuck. It just knows ladies. that I'm a, a dude. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, oh, you must be horned up. <laughs> and sometimes the people, friends that you follow and stuff like that, they're following and liking these things. I'm like, oh you know, yeah, I see that too. Like, you know, I can, yeah, I can like, see that, bro. <laughs> yo, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, or this person follows that. I'm like, well, that's how I got, I guess, by association. Yeah, but. I see that they like it. I'm like, I see it. And I'm yo, like, that's yo, 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 chill out. Like, that's literally a, a porn star. <laughs> yeah. So and so is following them. I'm like, hey, you scallywag. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Keep rolling. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Not that I got it for that so I can t- continue to look on it, but I'm like, eh, it was like a couple bucks. And then, like, like a coworker has it. And I'm like, what's she looking at? <laughs> yeah. But it's just kind of the, the joke too. It's like you know, not a joke, but it's a uh, the thing. It's like you don't need to know what I what I'm looking at. Why do you need to know? Yeah. And I'm like, cool. Yeah. Now I can block it. Yeah, and that's you know, sus. <laughs> Is that what the proper term to use that? That's what they use these days. The, the these uh, yeah Gen Zers. But, anyways, that's kind of uh, my what's new. So, some music stuff. Some yeah, I don't know. Igniting the flames of, uh, I don't know, gear. Was it gas? That's what it is. Gear acquisition sy- syndrome. Yeah, it's I've, like I've never called it that. It's uh, yeah. been several years of me not wanting anything or wanting to buy anything, and now it's like, let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh. And of course, it's amps. That's what I want is amps. The not the, <laughs> the yeah the, the most expensive part. The most about expensive one. Collecting guitars. Yeah, and then you can buy cheap guitars. But I'm like, really cheap amps are not worth it most of the time. Yeah. And you can build guitars out of parts. Yeah. Amps are a little harder to do. Yeah. I mean, you can do it, but. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's, of course, all the ones that I want are like tube amps. Because I'm like, I gotta. I gotta. Why? Because I gotta. Because I gotta. Anyways, uh, we got a you know, quick topic. We can bat around for a little bit. What do you think? You ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So you kind of hit me with this one. And we can probably turn into a topic or. We'll just you know, chat it about it. It's like okay, touring with vintage gear, bands that do yeah. it, uh, and you know maybe I could see some benefits, some drawbacks, or whatever of doing that. So, um, did you have any points you wanted to bring up, or I have a couple? Oh yeah, I'm, okay. So I was thinking because I th- it was this, uh, you know, this pedal, the fourteen eighty four. That I was thinking, mm. like, yeah, you could bring this on tour. I wouldn't want to bring the original one on tour. And I'm mm-hmm. like, but you know, I know who does do that kind of bullshit yeah. is like the black keys. They yeah. bring like shit that was made in the sixties, fifties, seventies. That was not meant to tour. Mm-hmm. It's like, like that, like this amp, whatever the 1484, just it's made out of a part, not even particle board. It's made out of like, so, it's like, I don't know. I'd have to look up exactly what it is. Like card stock, heavy card stock. Uh, yeah, laminated wood or something. I don't know. Not meant to tour, but they tour with them. <clears throat> yeah, or they, at least they did. Um, you know, Black Keys—they're kind of—they're not. Re- they haven't been as relevant as they used to be. I think they came out with um, a new album. They did. Yeah, I gotta check it out. But I was building the playlist and shit recently. And I was like, oh, that freaking El Camino record—one mm-hmm. of the best. 
So good. Like just about every song is a fucking banger on that record. But I was also thinking, you know, Joe Bon Boner Massa. Yeah, yeah. He does that too. He's he's all that's he's he brags about it. Yeah, fucking tour with this. But I just don't see I mean, digital's dead. You know, like that. <laughs> like, yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's also like I don't know vintage gear. It's you know not that it's precious, and I'm like okay, it's I just think, fragile. I think of like oh you wouldn't want to bring that on the road, but also it's like okay well it's meant to be played. We'll yeah, play it. You know until it yeah yeah can't anymore. play it. I would say studio play it, mm-hmm. but you know I guess when you know the difference between uh, Joe Bonamassa I guess and other you know and, and even the um, Black Keys is Black Keys. People come for the music. Yeah, Bonner, Bonners, the Bonners, I guess we we'll yeah. call them. They want to see the gear. You know, they actually I, yeah want to see him play the gear because yeah. they're like, yeah, two amps, bro. Fuck, I broke my back. Well, yeah, 74. there's also like, yeah. Uh, I'm playing kind of devil's advocate here too because I do I do like two amps. Mm-hmm. You know, but they like. You know, if you don't like tube amps, you're a snowflake to those people kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's something to be said. Like, okay, <laughs> say if you had a, a newer SVT classic, like you have. It's yeah. different than a 60s SVT classic or 70s. Yeah. So I'd get, I'd get, uh, you know, heat probably. Well, so if you say you, say you had an SVT uh, classic from the 70s, <clears throat> you'd be like, oh, I like the sound a lot. You know what? I'm just going to get a newer, the newer version because I think that'll be yeah. more- tour like ready uh yeah but and, it's also... and if, it, if, if there's a problem with it you could take it in and get it fixed <clears throat> easier to anyone mm-hmm. you could take it and to then it's also like that whole thing too it's like well it's, you know if it's so precious and you just got to keep it at home you're not using it i get it but i don't know there's something to be said about both sides oh yeah yeah and then um we had friends uh in a band they were Touring the guitar, the bass player was originally a guitarist, so he had like a, his whole Mesa rig was his thing, but he's playing bass and uh, off track. You remember that? And so yeah. he's like, okay, his bass rig that he had was like an old like '90s like crate combo and stuff like that. And it was carbon, it something was like carbon. that. I think he got upgraded to a carbon. Okay, uh, but he was like saying, oh, you know, one thing they had mentioned. I'm like, oh no, it totally makes sense. It's like old gear. Like, even, you know, not that it's vintage, but it's, like, this old, like, 90s, like, crate amp that he had. It was, like, it'll just fall apart on the road. And he's, like, we only did, like, a, a run or two, and it's, like, that combo's done. <laughs> like, <laughs> and so he, <laughs> they have, he, you know, they got a new carving thing going. I think they had somewhat of a relationship with them, and so we got probably a little bit of a deal, you know. I think they were, like, hey, you, they don't hook it up, <laughs> really. So, yeah. but it was like, okay, a new carbon, you know, 410 and head is going to last longer than, you know, that 90s crate combo. And also there's a difference between a combo and like a stack, but still. Yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, to me, I'm like, they said that and I'm like, yeah, no, that makes sense. None of that sounds false to me. And so, and we, we've, we've taken shit on the road and we've taken it in cases, which that's cool, but also goddamn. <laughs> Heavy as fuck. Yeah. I made the same twice as heavy. Yeah, for these other, you know, these bigger acts have trailers and semi trucks and shit. Mm-hmm. And I mean part of uh what JB does is he goes to small towns and goes on Facebook and Craigslist and buys this shit that's in, you mm-hmm. know, or in he buys it while he travels across the country, which is kind of cool too. But I mean I think. Oh, cool. Yeah, we were looking. But he also plays it before the show, uh, before the podcast. Um, we're looking at like the gear for uh, Black Keys. Yeah, uh, I remember from like the rig rundown and stuff like that. It's like some of these are like <sighs> you're saying. Like I'm sure they're. <laughs> uh, yeah, some of these freaking guitars. I'm sure their guitar techs fucking hate them. <laughs> yeah, they. Yeah, <laughs> it's like hey, I can't imagine like some of these I've never heard of these guitars. And this guy's like, oh, God, how am I going to fucking one, fix yeah. this bridge on the road? And it, and it was. Or fine like, tuners. Yeah. I think it was one of them. Like, in that rig rundown, the guy was like, this was a tough one. <laughs> he was like, he really wanted to get it going, because there was one. 
can't remember which one it was. That was a good rig rundown. Um, but he was like saying, there's no truss rod in here. I have to oh, shit. like weight it down and get it like, <laughs> I think there Before was like, every a, show. a metal like bar in there, but it's not like you turn it. It's like, not adjustable. He, I, yeah, yeah. It's probably have, a K. It's probably yeah. a K guitar. He's like, oh, he really wanted Where to get like this one. it's like a Sears, mm-hmm. a Sears buy. It's like, oh, he Dan really wanted this, so I had to do it. <laughs> Like yay, yeah, and then just like the like Dan Electro like suitcase uh, amps and shit like that. I'm like Jesus Christ, do you really is that yeah. necessary? And then yeah, I looked at some of those on this. I go to this website equipboard.com where they mm-hmm. kind of show. It's it's almost like a Wikipedia thing, but people submit yeah you know what they saw them play or whatever, and then people will discredit it. They'll verify you know yeah. But uh, yeah, the Dan Electro Challenger series, it looks like a little suitcase. Mm-hmm. And then the Commando series also, they are butt ugly amps. Yeah. And I'm sure but, they're uh, like, because you can't get that sound out of something else, which I yeah. get it. And it's like the fun thing about being gear and like a gearhead or liking guitars and stuff like that. And they're rich. They can fucking do that. They're paying at some, yeah. like, some guys like, Hey, make sure this is working every night. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Pal. That's okay, the, babe. that's the difference is yeah. Make sure this is working. You have a whole bin of parts, mm-hmm. you know, that I paid for. You yeah. better fucking get this right, brother. Yeah. <laughs> he, I don't know why he's a f- fucking Hulk Hogan all of a sudden. But Dan Albuquerque. Ob- I don't know Ob- how he how he sounds. Arback. I like how we just both, yeah. both come up with, like, <laughs> voices for him. It's like, get, make sure these work. Okay, babe. Okay. All right. <laughs> like he's not, okay, babe. Yeah. He doesn't say that. But anyways, it's also not to say that like modern gear is bulletproof, that it won't fail, and yeah. is more reliable. Because like, you know, say a digital rig. Say like to me, I'm like, okay, less shit. I have a fractal, and it's going through like a powered speaker just for whatever. If that fractal went out, I'm fucked. Yeah, I'm totally fucked. If that was my guitar rig, because. Eventually, if we ever start playing playing again, that's kind of what I'm going to do is a fractal with just a powered speaker. I'm like, because the powered speaker, I can just like lift it with one hand. I'm like, this is easy because <laughs> I ain't, ain't getting any younger pal, okay? And then just take a fractal. And like, if that fractal fucks up or just like, bzzz, like, you know, gives me like red ring of death or whatever, <laughs> and then I'm just like, I'm done. Yeah. I think <laughs> Whereas playing, like, in, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, so, go ahead. No, because it's like, okay, and then, but it's also like, less shit to go wrong, but if one thing went wrong, I'm, you're, you're, you're boned. <laughs> yeah. So, but I mean, there's, I don't know, other, like other bands, like, uh, same thing, like really big bands, like Green Day, they play vintage shit. Like uh, Mike Durant plays like a bass from the 60s. Jesus. He, uh, plays, uh, or maybe it was the 70s. I think it's 60s. Uh like that's what he plays for like the older stuff like pre American idiot. Uh, he doesn't play his grabber still, right? I think he's busted it out recently, actually, which Damn. is pretty sick. I saw like uh, videos of them. I'm like, whoa, he brought that thing back, or he bought another one. Yeah, uh, which is kind of would be cool. I'm like, hey, because they're doing like uh, this new run that they're doing. I think it's like is it 50, 20 years of American idiot and thirty years of Dookie. Damn. I think they're playing both records. So he's like, you know, it'd be cool for Dookie. Why not? I play my grabber, <laughs> which I'm like, that's pretty sick. Like, you know, ma'am. Uh, and then, you know, a Billy Joe plays like juniors from the fifties, which I'm like, Damn. well, they can have those. It's like, Hey, this old ass fucking guitar. It's like, get it going, pal. It's like, yeah, Oh, you know, I mean, they make I new wouldn't... ones. <laughs> Do you uh, want those? Uh, no. I guess at my level of musicianship or whatever, I wouldn't play with mm-hmm. you know shit that can get stolen, that yeah. will, can break easily, mm-hmm. and would f- I would never financially recover from it. You know, that's yeah. the kind of thing. I mean, there's other other bands like I saw a rig, rig rundown of uh, the Menzingers, mm-hmm. so they like that vintage kind of stuff and that vintage sound. But they're they not got huge, the vintage money. Baby. They're not super, but they. He's like, hey, I have like an old. Like seventies or whatever sixties, Les Paul, that's at home. I yeah. have this reissue. I'll play this reissue Telecaster, reissue fucking Les Paul. It's like I like old Marshalls. Those are at home. Here's a new reissue of like you know vintage Marshall. 
So like they're getting the you know it's close enough for them. They're like, yeah, I would love to have those guitars, but he's like, no. Yeah, just on stage could get knocked over, whatever. You know, it's in the trailer. It's like it can get fucked up. It's like you know, hey, those can be those can stay at home. <laughs> I'm all right with that. The people in the crowd, me, I don't really notice that much. And I'm like, oh, that's oh, <laughs> like that's pretty cool. I'm like, well, you're just, you know, they're kind of keeping that classic sound, but they're not risking like vintage gear on the road. Just the, you know, the yeah, reliability. Yeah, it's, it's a risk. Mm-hmm. For a small tour, it's a risk, I would say. And if, it, so. if it's like, hey, this vintage guitar or this amp just is going to crap out every day. <clears throat> yeah. Like, uh, I remember watching a video of like Gaslight Anthem. Like, he loved that sound of the, I think the full tone tape echo thing with an actual yeah. tape in it. He's like, yeah, but I would have that on the road and the tape just blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Getting eaten up. Drop that thing. Holy mm-hmm. shit. And he's he like, dropped like a, was it the Echo Wreck? The mm-hmm. Bimson Echo Wreck or something that has like moving mechanical parts? Mm-hmm. Or just gets dusty and dirty? Yeah. When you're you're like, fucked. I, th- I mean, because you, uh, Brian Fallon was touring with that. He's like, yeah, I got to stop this. Well, like the stage, it moves when you mm-hmm. jump around on it or move mm-hmm. around. Yeah. What if the, fu- yeah, you, just that, you might catch that in the delay. I'm yeah. guessing that's how it works. Probably not how it works. You know? <laughs> yeah. So you just, he's like, oh, I can just get this in a pedal. I just want that slap back sound. Yeah. Which I'm like, on the tape, you know, echo would sound awesome. But, but you're can, not going to get that live. You're that can stay at difference. home. Yeah. Uh, and then there's some bands, you know, comp- contemporaries to, you know, Green Day is like Blink-Away 2. All new shit. Not a one vintage guitar or anything in the whole bunch. <laughs> yeah. They don't give a fuck. New basses, yeah. please. <laughs> New guitars. Make these for me, Fender. All right. New drums, everything. You know, they're not going for a vintage sound at all. No, not at all. Even though, you know, they'll be like, oh, cool. It's funny because they don't, they seem like gear guys, but not really at all. Like, I don't think they. I see- think they're gear guys because of like the production side mm-hmm. of it. Like probably, was it Jerry Finn made them that? Yeah. But then, yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, if I can like, just- We can make anything sound like that record so or you know the recordings mm-hmm. so and then they're all doing all fractals live yeah not a exactly tube amp in sight they're like nope we're good this is fine and so you just kind of you know every band's different so not to say oh if you're a big band you have to play all your vintage gear and all this stuff I'm like no you can just play a fractal and then a thousand dollar fifteen hundred dollar fender off the lot. <laughs> Give me that. Cool. <laughs> yeah, whatever. And then who yeah. cares? Yeah. <laughs> to me, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I I guess I have guitars that are none of them are vintage. I don't have a vintage thing in sight. But I'm like, I'm <laughs> no. not really going for that sound. I mean at, as of right now. I I got some, so like what are you gonna do about it, dude? Would you play out with uh it's not I mean it's not it's vintage, I guess. Like the T forty bass, would you play out with that? Uh, if I had like a, a spine brace, probably. Uh, and even the <laughs> guitar is heavy too, huh? Yeah, the guitars. Yeah, they're both like within like half a pound of each other. I think. Yeah. Like literally, that that the guitar is fucking heavy. But I, I probably should. I need to weigh them again. And um, then it's not like it's uh, vintage, but it's I guess the phrase precious to you is your American P bass, but you still play out. Yeah. That. But you yeah, didn't tour I play, with that. I play that one. Yeah. I would. Uh, I was thinking if I were to start playing again, I'd play the Dyna mm-hmm. out. You know. Yeah. I would. If it got stolen or something, I wouldn't cry about it. I mean, I would. It, it's. I still spent four hundred bucks on it. Mm-hmm. But you know, I spent three hundred on the uh, American, but it just means more. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. It's a uh, sentiment. Yeah. I'm just a sentimental guy. Yeah, because last time we toured. Which was ten years ago, by the way. <laughs> we did that a two week run or whatever that we would do. Yeah, um, yeah. I remember I just brought my Squire Strat, and to me, I'm like, yeah. I mean, it would suck if this gets stolen, but nobody's gonna like. I'm not. Yeah, losing my ass on it. I could buy it again. Again, that was a little risky because if that got stolen, and if it if it popped up somewhere on Facebook, or you whatever, would find it. You'd be able to find it. Like, and that's then mine. you could mm-hmm. test the DNA. You taste the test the blood on there. Yeah, that's mine, officer. Yeah. 
It's funny. Unhand my yeah. I my was ax. Uh, before recording with uh, Adam came over. I was like, oh, let me uh, put new strings on my Les Paul. I'm like, oh, uh, this would be a great just secondary guitar if you wanted to play it, and it's ever tuned, so it's all ready to go. And then, so put new strings on there. It's set up for E standard. And then I was like, oh, I guess like I've grown up. I can wipe off the blood. I can't. It's on there. Like I used rubbing alcohol. It's like stained in there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'd have to take the paint off or whatever. Don't but, tell him it's blood. Mm-hmm. You can't just tell. Don't tell him. <laughs> He's not gonna lick it. Just give him some hand sanitizer afterwards. Yeah, it's been it's been years. Yeah, but yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I don't have any vintage gear. I don't think I really want any. I think for a while because I was a big Green Day head. I'm like, I want a '56 Les Paul Junior. I really want one. Now I'm like, I'm good without that. One. You know, I'm fine at least for now without one. And then. Even if I got like more vintage style amps, it would be modern ones. Like it would be a new, you know, 57 uh, Tweed Deluxe. Yeah. But it was like a new version. Not going to be like, go find one from 57. I'm like, no. <laughs> I'll take a new one. That's fine. I don't need to get, you know, one that's like 60 or plus years old. I'm good. Just because I'm like the price tag, and also I'm like, yeah, I don't know if I'm like can tell a yeah. difference. I don't, I'm not that good of a bassist or guitarist or. Mm-hmm. To, I was even looking uh, at like for as far as bass amps go, it's like one of those flip top ones or whatever. Getting a head. Oh for damn! I'm like, oh, that'd be sick, but it will, probably wouldn't get the sound that I want. Yeah, which is the whole point of like getting a, a two bass head, Demar sound, punk rock. Anyways, so I don't know. Did we we didn't even get anywhere with that vintage gear? Not really. Is it cool? Yeah. Yes, it is. It's cool. And if you can, if you have the ability to tour with it, do it. If you can't, you know. Don't. <laughs> if you have, if you yeah, can't, you're fucking poor. Uh, we just no didn't say shit <laughs> for another, for thirty minutes. Yeah. Just oh, nothing. that's I don't know that that that, that got me. Anyways, let's bring it in for a landing. What do you say? Let's do it. All right. Thank for. Uh, fuck. <laughs> thank you for God tuning. God damn it! He <laughs> fucked it up. You blow it. <laughs> thank you for tuning into the Tone Jerks podcast. If you like what you hear, you can follow along. You know, on social media, we're on Instagram at the Tone Jerks. Uh, look at those risque photos. Oh, geez. <laughs> uh, and then we're on uh, Facebook. We have a Facebook group. Uh, search the tone jerks you'll find it but it's also both of those are linked in the description we are on youtube uh video podcasts are up there we have some other different videos up there as well uh not risque uh but give us a sub give us a dom over there and if you really like what you hear you can follow along on uh patreon no you can support us on patreon for as little as you can follow along on patreon because we post you know an extra episode every week that if you're not Supporting us, you can't do anything to it. <laughs> yeah, so it's behind the paywall. Mm-hmm. So, like when you get down to the actual meaty part of an article on New York Times, and then it pops up. Oh, you want to get some information? Give us some money. Give us money. <laughs> well, you read the fluff of the article. Now you got to pay up. <laughs> pay the piper. Uh, so for as little as one dollar a month, but if you double down for two bucks a month, you get an extra episode every week. You get a whole RSS feed you can put in your favorite podcatcher. And you get all the bonus episodes. We got, uh, uh, what is it, 336 bonus episodes. 333? Oh, 336. God damn yeah. it, stupid. God damn it. I'll see myself out. I'll send you the list. You can read it. I'm just yeah, get that, get that on your RSS feed. You get the uh, bonus episodes, which are uh, set up a little differently than the main here. A lot of fun. Uh, you know, get uh, juicy, juicy, risque on the Patreon for sure. And then uh, just for the support, we want to give you all a huge shout out, a sizable acknowledgement. Kyle, you got a list? Yeah, I got it right here. Why don't you give it to me, baby? I got Andrew Walsh from Andrew's Alcove and Red for his synth project. You got Abe Newman, Michael Newman, Nicholas Payson, Nicholas Ogburn, Doug King, Joe from the Like My Network, Masters of the Cinematic Universe, also the, also the Just Surprise Me podcast. You got R.J. Smith from Teletalks, Televised Neon, 
guys busy. Mm-hmm. Jamie Davis, Johnny Ray, uh, Steve Rao from 60 Cycle, Hum, add the H, please. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, he quits from he quits. If you guitars. don't, you'll get to some uh, risque photos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Risque Instagram. <laughs> Yeah, if it's if it's uh you don't add the H you get uh, Ryan's page. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> His homework Ryan. folder. <laughs> Ryan yeah. Uh yeah, Co Schneider from Night Tides, got Alvaro Viermontes, Brian Nutter of Nutter Guitars, Mel Chipson of Chipson Guitars, Sean Arbo from Gun Street Wiring Shop, Sean Fahey from the band Shadow Hounds, Sean Wright. I'm just doing a lot of sh 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 just, just, oh yeah. Edit, edit those in. Just <laughs> <laughs> only the breaths. Just yeah. And then now you're back in the fight. Uh, Sean Wright from Lollygagger Effects and How to Fucking Solder on YouTube. Juan Ortiz from Tone Hungry Effects. Mike Oxbig. Denny Whacked It. Oh yeah. Zach Hale. Ben Dover. <laughs> that one's. <laughs> <laughs> that one's silly, but good. I need a jacket. Yeah, I like that. Damn, first time I heard that one. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's some there's some good ones I've heard recently. I can't remember them. Uh, what people do on um, you know, like the live uh, Peloton, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah. So they they're actually working hard, but they change their name. So they're you know it's like a live thing that's streaming. So you're at home riding your. Whatever, but they oh great job, uh, jacking my dick up, you know, yeah, you know, <laughs> jack, <laughs> jack in or whatever. They're like God damn, and the person who's who's like the instructor is like God damn it, they got me. Uh, got me you know, or you can use a username, so it's like juggling my balls or something. But it's, some are really good. Some are yeah. good. I see, there's like a whole uh, clip I've seen on Instagram with it. So you take my word for it. Anyways, Eric Merrill <laughs> from YouTube, Instagram, the Movie Podium Podcast. Talk about a busy dude. Oh, uh, yeah. Scott Hamilton from the Effects Loop Podcast. Matthew Fenslaw, Matthew Davis, Chase Stevens, and Pete from over there. And that is the, 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 the list. All right. We'll see you next week. We love you. Bye. Bye.